<laughs> oh, big one. Oh, Mari. We're a couple of, we're a number of transplant recipients gathered here at Stanford Track, and we come every Wednesday or Thursday for boot camp. And this phase of boot camp is to exercise our upper body by throwing a five or six pound ball and catching it and doing a squat. And it's a nice group activity and we have a lot of fun and we also get a good workout while we do it. Everyone involved in our transplant boot camp is a transplant recipient from Stanford Hospital. We have three kidney recipients and about six regular lung transplant recipients. They're like anybody and everybody. They're the kid next door. They're full of life and heart and soul. And uh, it's just an amazing, infectious place to be. My name is Misty Clyde. Um, I had a double lung transplant for cystic fibrosis two and a half years ago. My name is Mari Matsumura. I had a double lung transplant in 09. My name is Nancy Lonhart and I'm a kidney transplant 18 years out. Come next week. My name is Tom Martin. I'm a double lung transplant recipient with uh, cystic fibrosis. I come to the boot camp mainly for friendship, but I also like to encourage positive thinking and good health and also just to socialize with my fellow transplant friends. When I'm with my own kind, so to speak, people like me, there's a camaraderie and a friendship and a mutual encouragement that occurs when we are together and we all just do the best we can. This group is very inspiring and it, it piques the uh, competitor in me. Before transplant, my muscles were very atrophied because I had no energy, was unable to do any kind of physical activity. And so it's also very encouraging for myself to do that here because I can do that now. <laughs> this great <laughs> cardio. <laughs> When I had cystic fibrosis, I never imagined that I would grow older. So now I'm almost 39, and I can't believe that I'm almost turning 40. Um, and also, I never imagined that I could do this. <sighs> it's been 11 years since my first lung transplant, and I never thought that I would live this long. Um, I never thought that I would get this strong. Um, it's been an amazing rediscovery of athletic ability that I never had before. After a transplant, because of the medications we take, our bodies change. And it's um, harder for us to gain muscle and exercise. Every transplant recipient has the same side effects from the medication. We all need to be active. And so the more we huff and puff, the more we're able to sort of help keep our lungs clean. I believe that exercise is as important as immunosuppression medication in maintaining a healthy, fit body so that we can be as strong and healthy with the gift of life that we've received. I feel very privileged that I'm a Stanford patient because they have a 94% survivor rate for lung transplants in the first year. Um, there's over a 50% chance of survival in five years, and statistically speaking, that's very good. I think people come every week to this boot camp because we really motivate each other. We know that if so-and-so is going to be there, then I have to be there too. I feel like, you know, they support me and I support them, so it's kind of a community. I go to support groups and I, I get to meet people there too, but I, I think I get to bond with people further here. There's so much love in these people who have really been down for so long and received this amazing gift and can rise up and just take that love and share it with everyone and uh, to put it to such good use to uh, inspire others.